Well, good morning, folks, and welcome back to another video with flyfishingwithjeff.com. And um, welcome to 2021. Probably like the rest of us Americans, we're ready to be done with 2020. Um, so here we are. It's Friday, January 8th, and I'm here in Bennett Springs, just west of Lebanon, Missouri. And uh, we're in the uh, catch and release season. I've talked about this for, before to you, so it's probably no surprise. But if you want to look up on my website at flyfishingwithjeff.com, some of the other videos, you can get some background info. But bottom line is it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, 8 to 4. Catch and release flies in all three zones, zone 1, 2, and 3 all the way down to the river and as you can see there aren't any crowds so this is the time of the year to be doing this uh, it's a beautiful time of the year we'll see eagles um, just about every kind of critter around out here so <clears throat> I'm gonna be here four days before we head south to Tani Como to fish for a little while and um, Come along with me and let's see what we can find here at Bennett. <clears throat> I'm going to try to give you some background info on the three zones all the way down to the river. Uh, maybe even a video from the river. And uh, this is a great time of the year to be out here. Uh, today I've got my six weight. I've got a 3X tippet with one of my uh, cream collared trout candies. And um, we'll see. I don't know how things will go. You always have to kind of play the game. Uh, the water's clear. It's overcast. So I'm hoping that means the, the fish will be moved up towards the top of the surface. But we'll see kind of how it goes. That, that's the part of the chess game that you have to play. And I, I know there are a lot of people that think trout parks and, and uh, canned fish and it's easy. But it really isn't. This water is so clear and cold and they... They have such a diversity of flies presented to them, especially during the winter season, that uh, it, it can be it can be kind of tough to figure out. So, let's go. Let's get after it. Uh, it's a little after eight, and uh, we'll see how we go. So there we go, folks. A couple minutes after the lead in here, and this is my first fish of 2021. And be it a small, very small rainbow, it's fish. So we'll get him off here and talk to you a little bit about what we're doing. Let him go back and grow. Uh, again, I've got my six weight. <clears throat> I've got I think 30, 20 down to 3x. Yep, that's what what it is. So 3x on the tippet, and this is a sink tip one line, a Rio sink tip one line. And so I get a lot of questions. There's the fly up close. I get a lot of questions each year. I'm going to try to answer some of those, so that I don't have to answer them individually, maybe as often. But we got to think about this water as volume. It's 3x, length, width, and height. And in fact, if you want to take it to the fourth dimension, every foot down becomes a different level. So a chunk at the top of the water, a chunk one foot down, a chunk two foot down, three foot. And it depends on where those fish are. And again, your trout are photophobic, so they, they don't like the light. So we look out here, there's not much light. In fact, it's overcast today, and I caught that fish probably in the top one foot. Now, I don't know if that'll stay, persist through the day. Sun comes out, they're going to move down, but I hope so because they tend to be a little more aggressive and a lot more catchable. So one of the things I'm trying to do here is cast back up into the stream, into the current, okay? And um, I also have a lot of questions on 
the water loading cast. Well, for me, it's the easiest way to get a long, accurate cast is the water load that cast, okay? And I put that fly out there, oh, inside to cover. And it's starting to swim downstream now, naturally, like a bait fish would. And that's what I'm doing. I'm stripping it along. If I get a tug, a strike, I give it a quick strip set, a lawnmower strip set, so that I can uh, shorten the distance between me and the fly. So let's do that again, and let's look at this pocket right here where there might be a little bit of an eddy, a little bit of a chance for those fish to, right there, eddy up out of the cover. And again, I'm stripping as I walk this fly downstream, letting my rod tip stay towards the line. And that's the process. Now, a lot of times you'll get multiple hits. You'll get a, a fish following. So I always kind of close out with a little bit of a broad left and go back. So as I work my way downstream, that's what I'm doing. Again, I'm, I'm going to cast right over to the edge. Let the fly start to move down. Little short strips. I'm feeling for a take, a tug. And when I do, then I'll give it a strip set and set the hook. There we go. There we go. All right, so that fish was sitting right there and as soon as the fly hit the water he was on it. You can go swim away. There we go. That's kind of the game. Again, there's a lot of fish going to be hanging out out of the current under the cover so they don't get nabbed by owls, hawks, ospreys. Well, not owls, but eagles and ospreys. There we go. All right, so that one followed it. He hit it at least twice, maybe three times in there. fly back, get the feathers laid back nice so it swims nice. And if you want to know how to tie this fly, you go to my website, flyfishingwithjeff.com, and you look up trout candy. I tie them in several collars, but basically cream is the, the go-to collar, especially on days like this. I like to be able to see that fly. It gives me a a uh, little extra um, take. I can see that fly from quite a ways away and it gives me the visual to set the hook. Oh, there was one. Uh, let's try that one more time. Yeah, that was right there. Pair of eagles. I don't know if you can 
see those big beautiful birds. Beautiful place here. Just off of Interstate 44 in Lebanon, Missouri, about 11 miles west. on in here, little fella. Let's pop this off and let you go right back to it. It doesn't feel like a trout. Nope. What do we got? Crappie. Go figure, huh? <laughs> 